and on YouTube. So they were going to use the HD 650 measurement system to measure the elastic properties and internal friction of the sample continuously at uh, high temperatures. And basically what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use a small hammer to tap the sample and uh, we will use a microphone to record the vibration signal. We will send the vibration signal to the computer where we will analyze the vibration signal and calculate the elastic properties. So first let's have a look at the uh, measurement set itself. Uh, here we're going to use, uh, we're going to measure a rectangular uh, bar, a metallic uh, rectangular bar. And the sample is supported by two uh, platinum rhodium wires and the rest of the setup is uh, prepared out of uh, aluminium oxide. So the measurement setup itself can handle temperatures well over a thousand degrees Celsius. Now let's have a look at the inside of the furnace. So we see two tubes. The tube below is the automatic hammer, so it uh, works like this. And the tube above is a guidance tube that guides the uh, vibration signal up to a, a cooler region where we can place a microphone and record the vibration signal. On the right hand side we see the Eurotherm uh, temperature control and on the left hand side we see uh, uh, an inert gas inflow uh, system. So it's possible to have an inflow of inert gas inside the furnace during high temperature to uh, slow down uh, oxidation. Now let's, uh, let's bring in the measurement setup inside the furnace. Let's check if we can do a good measurement. Let's see, okay. Okay. First we have to do a uh, test measurements just to see if everything is uh, functioning okay. So uh, here we see the vibration signal, the frequency spectrum, and we already gave in the mass and dimensions of the sample. So the computer can calculate the elastic properties, the young smoother shear movements, the Poisson seal, and the internal friction of, uh, of the material. So now we can close the furnace. And what we do now is we have to give in the temperature profile. So here we can select the temperature profile. It's possible to uh, program this temperature profile yourself. In this case, uh, we are going to use a temperature profile with a heating rate of uh, 3 degrees per minute up to uh, 900 degrees Celsius. We're going to stay for uh, 30 minutes at 900 degrees Celsius and we're going to cool down at uh, 3 degrees per minute uh, up to room temperature. So now we can go to the measurement cycle. Um, first thing we do is again, we do a single measurement uh, uh, just to check everything. Again, we see the uh, vibration signal, the frequency spectrum, the elastic properties that are calculated, and the internal friction. Uh, what we also have to set up uh, is the interval time. So we are going to perform a measurement every 120 seconds. Uh, so dur during the entire temperature run, we will uh, perform the measurement every two minutes. Um, now we are ready to start out the measurements. So we start the measurements, and now in a couple of seconds the measurement cycle will uh, start. So it's also possible to program this. Now the cycle has started. And uh, starting from now, the, sem the system will perform automatically a measurement every 120 seconds. So uh, again, we can perform uh, single measurements. 
And we see that we have uh, the same results as we had before. We can do that again. Again, we have the same results, so we have very good uh, reproducibility of the measurement uh, results. Uh, a measurement like this can take up to 24 hours to perform. So uh, let's just uh, have a look at uh, some uh, results we can uh, get with this uh, system. This was a measurement that we performed up to 750 degrees Celsius. And uh, this is the temperature profile. So uh, we see that we measured up to uh, 750 degrees Celsius and then we cooled down at 3 degrees per minute uh, up to room temperature. This is the changing Young's models versus temperature. So um, the purple line is the changing Young's models uh, during heating. And uh, blue line is a changing Young's models during cooling. And every dot on this graph is a measurement taken inside uh, the furnace. So here we have another graph, and here we see the changing young and the changing resonant frequency versus temperature, and the changing internal friction versus temperature. And here dur during uh, heating, we saw one peak at about 350 degrees Celsius, and the peak in the internal friction usually points to something changing inside the uh, material, uh, inside the material structure. Uh, for example, phase transformation or something else. And uh, here we have a closer look at the internal friction peak. Here's another example. In this case, we went over 1000 degrees Celsius. Again, we have the Young's modulus versus temperature. And here again we have the resonant frequency and internal friction versus temperature. So to conclude, we can say that uh, the HT 650 measurement system uh, offers a very re reliable and accurate way to uh, continuously measure elastic properties and internal friction uh, at high temperature.